Uh, before we invested in DMG Mori, uh, the business was turning over between 300 and 4,000 per annum. Once we installed the machines um, that we've, we've now got, it pushed the turnover up to 700, 750,000. And then this year, it will be, we will hit our first million pound. With the two new machines that are coming in uh, later on this year, that will certainly move us at a million pound plus business. We're here at Matford Manufacturing in Warsaw and this company has about eight people working here. So a fairly small company, however, they have made some serious investments in some DMG Morries. So Andy, you've got three DMG Mori machines, but you've also ordered two more, haven't you? That's correct, yes. So why did you go for DMG Morries? Um, well, traditionally, um, Tim, my business partner and I have got sort of 50 years experience in the business between us when we started the business in 2008. And I had got experience from a previous company with DMG and Tim had got experience with Morisiki machines. And they're always known in the industry to be a good reliable machine like the Rolls-Royce of machine tools. So when we were looking out onto the market, we looked to the brands, but DMG Mori was the one we obviously settled for. So for the viewers to get an idea of who you are, um, what is it you're making here? Uh, we're a subcontract machinists making pins, shafts, bushes, oh in all sorts of materials from your conventional mild steels, alloys and non-ferrous, make a lot of brass and copper parts as well as uh, aluminium. Um, and uh, you know, we, 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 volume wise we can do anything from sort of 50 offs up to 1000 batches, 2000 ones. And it's high precision as well, so what's quite important to you is the amount of operations and parts coming off in one, isn't it? Yes it is, yeah. So what did the DMG Morris do? Because you had a traditional way of making parts and then yeah. these came along and transformed the business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, based, well, we, we, uh, we had parts which, which were taking three and four operations, um, but with the DMG Morris, we were able to get the parts off in one. Um, case in point with one that we're standing by now. Yep. Um, that used to take four operations um, and now it comes off the machine in one. So that's give us a, a big advantage to winning business back that we traditionally had lost. And so have they done exactly what you wanted them to do? So you've got the time savings, you've got the operational savings as well, but have they gone above and beyond? They have, yes. I mean, in fairness, we, we use the, utilize the lights out facility uh, um, most evenings and weekends if they're, if they're on bar. Obviously, if they're on chucking, you can't do that. But no. uh, for the bar feed work, it has proved uh, quite, uh, quite a, an asset to us as a business. And, being able to be competitive in the marketplace. And the models, why did you go for it? Because you've gone for the NLX 2500 on all three of these. That's right, yeah. Uh, the 2500 is, gives us a, an 80 mil bar capacity, um, which a lot of our pins and shafts that we do lead us up towards that higher, big, larger diameter. Um, so it was important that we had a, a machine that would give us the, you know, the total capacity that we needed. So we had got the option of running them from bar. And what's going on with this machine? Because you've got a tail stock and you were thinking, actually, we're going to invest, get some more machines. But actually, yeah. you weren't going to keep this, but now you are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the story here? Well, basically, the two machine, the first two machines we had uh, were twin spindles. And when we came to deciding to have the third machine, we thought, because the traditional shaft work that we did, we didn't need to go to the expense of a sub spindle. So we opted for a slightly cheaper machine with a tail stock. As time has gone on, uh, we re regret that in some respects because it gives us the, uh, the flexibility has gone to put any one of our jobs on all three machines. So we have to sort of be selective on what parts can go on this particular machine. So now you want to keep this one. But yeah, that's what we're looking <laughs> at now. We're looking to keep it because of the sort of shaft work that we do. Um, so we're going to, uh, we are getting a, a acquired another two with sub spindles. And these are high performance machines. So what's the running cost like on these? Uh, well, actually, these are more efficient to run than the traditional machines that we've still got employed over the over the back there um, in, in the fact that they use less electricity uh, and obviously give us a better return um, than we get on the more traditional machines. And the servicing side of things? Servicing side, um, although initially we it's a stumbling block because traditionally DMG Mori are very expensive on servicing, um, we actually negotiated a, a two year contract where every 12 months they come out, service the machines for us, and we find that to be very efficient and obviously advantageous because at the end of the day, they're the experts. 
And what does that do for you as a company of this size as well? Well, it's, uh, we know what bills are coming um, from, a, from a service point of view each year. So that helps us, enables us to budget uh, for, for that sort of cost uh, each year. And of course, you know, that you've got to have a partnership with DMG Mori here. What's your relationship like with them? Oh, we've got a very good relationship with DMG Mori. Um, obviously, we're such a large investment, a small company. Tim and I, it was essential to us that we had a good relationship with, uh, you know, who's providing us with the machine tools. And over the years, we've had, we've had a few hurdles to get across, um, but certainly with the help of DMG Mori, they've been very supportive to us and helped us along the way. You told me off camera that the financing options are a godsend. So why oh, is yes. this? Yeah. <laughs> well, where does the first two machines we bought were on finance and we had to find a, a large deposit and VAT up front. And also, obviously, from a personal guarantee point of view, this one, the third one is on a lease and the two that are coming in on a lease, which obviously helps us tremendously as a company to be able to invest in new technology at a minimal cost. Uh, compared to what we had to do before. So would you recommend, I think I know the answer because you're investing in two more machines, but would you recommend DMG Mori machines and why? Yeah, I certainly would. Re we would recommend DMG Mori machines. Um, as I say, Tim, from a setting point of view, he's the engineer behind the business and he's been very happy with the ease to change over. Um, and also, you know, they are a reliable machine and give us basically what we need as regards a return for the business.